Georgian priest filmed during a holy ceremony in Georgian Orthodox Church radiates with holy mysterious light as the faithful come to receive the blessing the blessing of holy water and kissing the holy crucifix of Christ the priest and the crucifix radiate with a holy light an aura of holiness may Christ be magnified We are chosen to be a kingdom of priests, a set-apart people, and a light to the nations. Note the very first responsibility given to the priests was to care for the N.E.R. Tamid, the light of the menorah, which represents our consciousness of the Divine Presence. Psalm chapter 18 verse 28, 36-9. The challenge we all face is to remain, in the light as God is in the light and not to be seduced by the world of fleeting appearances. 1 John chapter 1 verse 7, 217. God's eternal light radiates through all things. Psalm chapter 139 verses 11 to 12. Just as the great, Yehi or, let there be light, is the first word spoken to creation. Gen. 1 to 3. To be a priest means being so filled with the truth that you radiate peace. Your inner light shines and you glorify your Father in heaven. Matt. 5.16 That is how we draw others to the truth. By receiving the beauty of the Lord. Psalm chapter 27 verse 4 Of course being a witness to the light, that is, being a priest, does not mean you are a perfect person who walks about with a blissed out attitude despite the various trials and tests we all face in this life. No, we all still sin, and we therefore need to confess the truth of our condition to abide in the light. 1 John chapter 1 verse 9. James chapter 5 verse 16. Like everything else in scripture, here we encounter paradox, as Yeshua taught. Blessed are the impoverished in spirit, to choi toi numati for theirs is the kingdom of heaven. Blessed are the ones who mourn, hoi penthounce for they shall be comforted. Blessed are the meek, hoi prayus for they shall inherit the earth, Matt. 5-3-5. Yea, God chose what is foolish in the world to shame the wise. God chose what is weak in the world to shame the strong. God chose what is low and despised in the world, even things that are not, to bring to nothing things that are, so that no human being might boast in the presence of God. 1 Cor. 127-29. The Hebrew word for priest, i.e., Kohen, may come from the word ken, meaning, yes, and the word kiven, meaning to, direct, or, lead implying that a priest helps direct a person toward affirming the reality and truth of God. The role of a priest is to draw us to God, then, but how is that possible if the mediator cannot genuinely understand our sorrows and struggles? What draws others to God is his love, but how can we come to believe in that love were it not for the priesthood of the leper, the priesthood of the outcast, the priesthood of the reject, even so Yeshua was afflicted with our infirmities and therefore sympathizes with our brokenness and frailty. See Heb. 4.16 As a priest of brokenness, you are called to be a wounded healer, and you can testify of God's saving grace and love for you despite your sorrow, anger, weaknesses, and failures. Accepting God's compassion for you, just as you are, allows you to show grace and kindness to others who are also hurting, and therefore you can serve as a priest of God. 
May God be gracious to us and bless us. And make his face to shine upon us. Salah. Be encouraged, friends. For the commandment is a lamp and Torah is light. And the reproofs of discipline are the way of life. Prov. 6.23 Here we may understand the reproofs of discipline as the ongoing process of consciously turning away from darkness, of fear, anger, etc., to the behold the divine light. We have to start here, after all. The way of life is teshava, repentance, turning to God, which is a painful process to the lower nature, but is necessary to walk in the light. Confession brings light into our hearts. James chapter 5 verse 16. 1 John chapter 1 verses 5 to 9, and the end of our struggle is healing and life.